Question number two, David Sheehan. Speaker to the Prime Minister, does he stand by all his statements? Right, Honourable Prime Speaking Minister. Yes. Does he stand David by his Sheeran. commitment to grey power in 2009 that his electricity policies would, quote, help constrain electricity prices and, quote, see fewer stories about electricity retailers putting up power prices ahead of inflation? Yes. Right, Honourable Speaking Prime yes. Minister. <laughs> Supplementary question. In light David of his Sheeran. answer, does he think it's fair that New Zealand power prices rose more than five times faster than inflation in the last year, and if so, why? Right, Honourable Speaker, Prime Minister. Well, firstly, um, power prices are, are rising much more slowly uh, under a national government than a Labor government, but part of the cost increases was the increase in transmission, which is necessary to improve the national good. Supplementary Speaker. question, David Shearer. Does he consider residential power prices in New Zealand too high. Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, they're somewhere in the middle of the pack, I think, when it comes to around the OECD. Well, what I can say is the changes that the national-led government has made over the last four and a half years are increasing competitiveness of the market. That's helping to uh, deal with the issues of the rampant price increases that we saw under Labor. But, Mr Speaker, I would, I would say this, that, that if I was to implement the sort of policy I saw announced by Labor and the Greens, what I can be sure of is a few things, that the predictions that... Uh, Point of order, David Chair. The, the, the question was adequately answered. Thank and you. If the member's happy with the, the answer, we'll move Thank to the you. next supplementary. <laughs> supplementary question, Thank David Chair. Does he agree with Consumer Magazine that, quote, effective regulation is needed to ensure consumers get a reasonable deal? We're yet to see it. That's right. I, have a single, Honourable I, Prime Minister. I don't agree with the, the last bit. Uh, we, we, I, I think we are seeing effective regulation. What I can say is that uh, what we aren't seeing is the 101,000 bogus signatures that were on the a petition Order. which tried to rule the New Zealand. Order. That's not... Supplementary question. Speaker. David Shearer. Does he agree with his energy minister that the Bradford electricity reforms introduced 15 years ago had, quote, a ch not had had a chance to bid in, end quote. And if so, how many more years will it take before these electricity reforms bid in? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, I'm not sure which electricity minister the, the member was referring to. There's been a number, a number over time. But if it was, if it was Mr Bridges... If, if it was Mr Bridges, then absolutely, because he's the face of the future, my boy. <laughs> Supplementary question. David Thank you, Mr. Chair. Speaker. Does he agree with the Minister of Finance who said in response to questions about electricity prices being too high, quote, if you look at those returns being generated, particularly out of the electricity market, the government has taken the view that the market is not as competitive as it should be. That was this year. Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, I'd need to see the full context of the speech and what happened, because the, the opposition has a bit of a habit of cutting and pasting these things. But, yes, in principle, I, I find myself more often than not agreeing with the Minister of Finance. <laughs> Again. Supplementary question, David Shearer. Does he have any policy that will guarantee power prices dropping in the next 18 months? And if so, which ones? Come on. Right, Honourable Prime well, Minister. Mr Speaker, I don't think it's possible to guarantee power prices will drop. Uh, I think we can certainly guarantee that we have a market that is more competitive than the one we inherited under Labor. We can also certainly guarantee that if Labor were to ever implement their policy along with the Greens, there would be a number of issues for New Zealand. One of them certainly would be that the ability to get capital Point of order. Yeah, uh, that was a, a very adequate uh, answer, but he was asking about, uh, talking about our policies, I was asking about his policies, sir. The question has been adequately addressed. Are there any further supplementaries? Otherwise, I move to question number three. Honourable order. Order. Question number three, the Honourable Kate Wilkinson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance. What report